The country of the palm-fringed tigress was one of the forces' happy hunting grounds. On the banks of the limpid river is the original tree of knowledge. Across the famous bridge of boats that commemorates the city's capture in 1918 by General Maud are the mosques of Baghdad, capital of the ancient Saracen Empire. Evidence of British control is seen in the policeman on point duty. The city and its suburbs are peopled with Arabs and Kurds, and the men are nothing if not picturesque. You must be mother's boy. Today there's a festival, and travelling entertainers are doing their act. They seem to be applauding themselves too. Sturdy women water carriers are curious, but their more gentle sisters are shy. The children on festival days have a grand time. The little Arabs call this thriller the Punky Punky. Just beyond the walls of the older city live the Kurds among their mosques and palm trees. The camel station at Gaza marks the edge of the desert, but even here a thriving community takes its ease and a walk along the high street. And as for shops, well, there's the desert greengrocer. And if we mistake not, a customer. The sky darkens and the sand swirls in a threatening storm as we board the BBC's magic carpet for Canada via my confrere, Jerry Wilmot.